I guess it really depends on how you say it and what lessons you want to take from it. It could be buy now and pay later versus buy now or pay later. What is good, Stackers University? Thank you for joining me today. Let's start by talking about telling the truth versus confessing. We all know the truth shall set you free, but somehow telling the truth can be a little challenging at times. Why? Because you can't handle the truth. Oh, my bad. I just couldn't resist doing that. Okay, maybe the real issue is confessing has an element of admitting guilt to something or sharing something only because it is necessary. Either way, there are definitely elements of duress and distress related to it. Which leads me to the topic I want to cover today, buy now, pay later. But I need to discuss this concept kind of on two levels. The first level is your buy now or pay later approach that we all have heard countless times over the last few years in particular, especially from the hypers. Ever since Silver Squeeze, it seems like every day there's a new video telling you that you need to buy gold and silver right now for reasons X, Y, and Z. I wish I had an ounce for every thumbnail that said buy now before it's too late. The irony of this situation is that a broken clock that is right twice a day, well, that's what they are. They're finally right. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to tell you to go back up the truck, but I am going to suggest to you that silver and gold have now become asymmetrical bets, meaning I'm not certain we're ever going to see $29 silver again. I can't tell you how high silver will go or what the new price floor will be for silver, but if history is our guide, I think $50 will be the new floor. This means we're in a space right now where five years from now, we will be saying, I wish I would have bought more silver when it was at $30. With that, let me also say, it doesn't matter how much silver you buy right now, you're always going to look back and feel like I should have bought more. That's just how hindsight works. If you've been around for a while, you know that I, I'm not a pound on the table kind of guy and not someone to be like, buy right now. But this is as close as it gets to me to doing my like Jim Cramer impression of hitting the buy, buy, buy button with all those crazy sound effects. I know it's hard to buy $30 silver or $2,400 gold when prices were so much lower less than a year ago, but that's just life. There's an old proverb. By the way, aren't all the proverbs old? Anyway, that aside, it says the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. For most of us, the best time to have bought silver was when it was in the $20 price range. Well, that ship has sailed. The good news is that there is still a lot of open ocean between $30 silver and its final destination. Now, before you get excited, this doesn't mean we won't have some nasty pullbacks in price along the way. When or how much of a pullback? I can't tell you that, and no one can, and no one can answer that question for you. What I do know is that those price drops will be temporary in the big pictures of things, and trying to wait out for that moment could mean you miss one of the more incredible opportunities. That is because, just like the title of this video, if you don't buy gold and silver now, you're definitely going to pay for it later. And this leads me to the second type of buy now, pay later that I want to discuss. Ironically, this second type of buy now and pay later is exactly why you want as much $30 silver that you can get your hands on. I'm talking about the ever increasingly popular buy now, pay later programs. Did you know that TransUnion conducted a study and found that 80% of consumers that use buy now, pay later are using them more than once a year? While the data keeps showing that American consumer is still spending what they really aren't talking about or discussing is how the consumer is actually paying for all these things. This information is critical because the repercussions are going to have a direct impact on what the Fed does as well as gold and silver prices. The proliferation of buy now, pay later programs like those offered by Affirm, Afterpay, PayPal are clearing the path for higher gold and silver prices. When you hear the talking head saying the consumer is still strong and there's still a chance of a soft landing, I want you to remember stats like this. There are currently around 360 million buy now, pay later users worldwide. One in five of those users are from the United States. The buy now, pay later system and industry is a $532 billion global industry. 16% of 18 to 34 year olds are using buy now, pay later. And clothing is the most popular buy now, pay later purchase. Did y'all hear me? Clothing is the most popular buy now, pay later transaction. 
the long and variable lags of interest rates hikes are here and a recession seems imminent. And let me share some other important data and facts with you. 88% of the states are reporting rising unemployment over the last six months. The yield curve has been inverted for more than 80 weeks. And the only time it's been inverted for longer than that was in the late 70s and early 80s. And you know what happened to gold and silver prices during that time. We also started to trigger the SAM, S-A-H-M rule, which holds that when unemployment rate rises to at least half a percentage point above its low point in the previous year, a recession has begun. Right now, it's at 0.43, but that is still twice as high as it was from the beginning of the year. And then there's Jeff Gunlock's indicator, which has been 100% accurate over the last 80 years of predicting recessions. And his finding is that when the current unemployment rate crosses the three-year average, we're already in recession. And that has happened as well. Here's the reality. Americans spend and we overspend by using credit cards. And now we found a new way to overspend with buy now, pay later. Layer that with people losing their jobs and we have a nasty economic future, which almost always ends with money printing. If I'm right and you agree with the data I, that I've shared, this means more than ever, silver and gold become a buy now or pay dearly later. Every time I go to a grocery store, I'm shocked by either high prices or the same price for less of an item. The deterioration of our purchasing power is evident and people flocking to buy now, pay later is just another way that people are trying to survive what is being done to our money and our monetary system. Our quality of life is being diminished every day and this is what you have to guard against. And what's been the best protection since the beginning of time? Gold and silver. Again, if I'm right, now is the time to act while gold is only $2,400 and silver is only $30. Final thoughts. If you're watching this video and you are using or considering using buy now, pay later programs or carrying any consumer debt, please do whatever it takes to avoid these programs and get yourself out of debt. It's hard to hold sound money in the form of gold and silver when you're being unsound in your personal finances. If you need help, click on the link and sign up for a free coaching call where we can come up with a plan to help you. There's no upsell or a product I'm trying to sell to you. I just want to help because if nothing else, it's good karma. In the comments section, how have you been preparing for the impending recession? Are you buying more or less silver and gold now? Are you stacking extra cash? Or simply put an A plus in the comments so everyone knows that you always stack smarter and never stop learning.